this final chapter of the conference. We are reaching the end, dear audience. I'm also devastated like you are, but we have some information that can help you feel a little bit better. At 3.15, there is a bus waiting for you in front of the hotel to take you to the winery, great winery, <laughs> very popular in this region. So please don't use that opportunity. So th that's a sweet surprise for today. And now we are starting this last chapter, this last section of the conference entitled Natural Healing Factors and Health Tourism. I'm calling Madame Mariana Biondi, the director of the Sikvenica Tourist Board, to join me on stage and tell us the very successful story of Sikvenica as a health destination. Thank you, Ida. Okay. Dobar dan svima. Good afternoon to, to all of you. Uh, I'm um, very happy to be here in, uh, in a role of a lecturer today. Although the past 24 hours were really hard for me, <laughs> and especially uh, last night, but I will uh, do my best and try to present to you what, uh, <laughs> what we are doing here in Srikvenica and uh, why uh, uh, we are one of the best health, health tourism destinations in Croatia. So, the title of my presentation is uh, Trikvenica Riviera from uh, Natural Healing Factors to one of the best health tourism destinations in Croatia. I just have to check this. Uh -huh. Okay. So, I will tell you something about how we started. Uh, uh, how we started developing health tourism and why was, what, were the, what were the reasons? We started uh, back in the 19th century, more than 135 years ago. And uh, the reasons why we started was these natural healing factors that our Riviera have. So at first, I just want to uh, take a few steps back in the past to see what uh, happened back then in the 19th century. So, the first arrival of uh, our guests were connected to the national healing factors. Also, the first hotels that were built in uh, Trikvenica uh, were the hotels with hydropathic establishments in them. In them. So, we, have, we had that uh, back then, uh, more than 135 years ago. We even started measuring weather and climate condition back then. We, were, we had the second uh, meteorological station in Croatia. Uh, the first one was, I think, in, in Dubrovnik. And in the 1906, we were declared a uh, health and seaside resort. So that was back then. We started to uh, use our comparative advantages and uh, started developing uh, health tourism, but uh, also now we have these natural healing factors and we are using them. So when you have, when you, if you want to, to uh, develop health tourism, you have to uh, have key components of a health tourism destination. And we have uh, uh, that, uh, there are core products. Uh, so you have to have natural resources, natural healing, healing factors. You have to have quality medical services, uh, spa and wellness facilities. You have also have, you have to have also indoor and outdoor activities, uh, culture and tourism experiences all mixed together. And of course, when the guests come, you have to uh, sleep somewhere. So, so you have to uh, have quality accommodation, uh, uh, good gastronomic offer, also transport services and or all other supporting services. You have uh, to have qu uh, quality service chain. And of course, you have to do it in a sustainable environment in a, a good atmosphere and health tourism oriented destination. So the healing, uh, uh, <laughs> the healing uh, factors of Trikanica Riviera, the natural therapeutic factors are extraordinary climate and microclimate, uh, clean air, a lot of sun, clean sea water, clean and very healthy drinking water and Mediterranean vegetation. I want to ask you, uh, I want to tell you a, a small anecdote from yesterday. So I was, um, we, we went uh, out of electricity. So I was outside and uh, standing there and I hear um, 
there was two of our eminent lecturers that come for several years here on TIG uh, conference, and they were talking to each other. And one of them say, you see this air, you just have to breathe it. And then he breathes it and say, that's it. <laughs> so <laughs> I think, <laughs> should I say anything further? So it's really this air, this uh, quality of air, uh, this med Mediterranean vegetation, this uh, uh, great mixture of uh, sea air and mountain air, the trace minerals that we have in this air, the, the uh, clean water of the sea and clean drinking water. The, uh, we have 2,300 hours of sun. That's more than 200 days of sun, 200 sunny days. So. Uh, it's really, it's really something. Th those are the the natural therapeutic factors that uh, we have, and that's why we started developing our uh, health tourism and Trikvenica Riviera as health tourism destinations. Those those are some of the the facts about the climate, about the the sea. We measure the quality of the sea on 27 locations on our Riviera. Uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, with the drinking water, we uh, always recommend to our guests to drink the, the tap water. We, uh, we also uh, put some um, uh, public taps, public fountains uh, in the city to encourage them to drink, drink our water because uh, our water is really healthy and healthier than the, the water in, in bottles. The air, as I said before, uh, exceptional purity, uh, diffuse healthy trace minerals, and also in the air, those fragrant Mediterranean paradise. When you come here, when you breathe, you, you feel it, you, you, feel, you smell it. You smell it, and those herbs are also used in, in gastronomy and in medicinal purposes, so they have various, uh, various uses. Of course, you have to have medical services. Uh, you all, you, most of you uh, were here during uh, uh, this conference and the conferences before, and you had the opportunity to hear about our medical institutions. Uh, there are many, but I want to emphasize uh, two of them. Uh, uh, at first, Talasoterapia Trikvenica. It's a medical institution with a really long tradition, the longest one in uh, in Srikvenica Riviera. They are uh, placed on an excellent location. They have qualified staff and they work in four departments, physical medicine and rehabilitation, otorhinolaryngology, pulmonary internal medicine, children department, and they use combination of thalassotherapy and climatotherapy and uh, of course the achievement of modern medicine. Um, they have really good results, uh, especially in uh, otorhinolaryngology, in this uh, rehabilitation of uh, respiratory upper and lower tract. So, uh, and of course, we have here uh, the Oxy Polyclinic for Biomedicine. They are inside the uh, Talasotherapia Trikvenica. But the second one that I want to emphasize is Thermeselce. You all know about Thermeselce and Thermeselce. For the over uh, the last uh, more than last uh, uh, three decades, more than three decades, uh, the Thermoselce Polyclinic uh, has been really dedicated to health and sports, and they are really uh, uh, the flagship, so to say, of uh, our uh, health tourism offer, and they. Uh, do sports rehabilitation. They do it for the last uh, uh, 30 years. They have really, really good results with uh, uh, a lot of uh, top athletes that uh, went through these, this rehabilitation. And after the rehabilitation, they went back to their sports and uh, they won again medals in, uh, I don't know, world championships, Europe championships or Olympics uh, and so on. Um, so we have here Katunar Polyclinic, we have a lot of uh, dental clinics here on Trikvenica Riviera, uh, and of course we have spine wellness facilities, that's the, this soft point of uh, our health tourism 
offer. We have medical wellness programs, wellness and spa centers, fitness, uh, massages, body and facial treatments as well. Of course, indoor and outdoor activities uh, in... Uh, um, so I just saw these six minutes here. I have to be uh, quicker. So outdoor, indoor activities, culture, tourism experience, it's everything that a tourist needs when he, when he comes, comes in, in the destination. Accommodation, of course, we have 3,000 beds uh, in hotels, almost 15 in family accommodation, campsites, all other types of accommodation. Health on your table. We, uh, uh, we organize projects with uh, health, healthy food. We have two programs like that. Oily fish root project. You know that oily fish is really healthy, rich in uh, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and uh, omega-3 acids. And program experience Trikvenica uh, with healthy menus, uh, recreational programs, and so on. Geographic position, uh, really good vicinity of the Rijeka airport, vicinity of the Central European uh, eminent uh, markets, uh, em uh, traffic and pub public infrastructure that we uh, have to have. And we also take care of the sustainable develop development. We have a lot of projects that are going on that we... Uh, waste management, uh, improvement of drainage, wastewater, photovoltaic power plants, etc., etc. I don't have much time, so I will be uh, going a little bit faster. We won uh, some awards, and uh, we are very proud to be the most successful health tourism destination in Croatia in 2017. Uh, what to do next? So, we have a tourism development strategy uh, for Cikvenica Vinodol, Riviera from 2019 to 2029 and, in, and an important part of the tourism development strategy is development of health tourism and uh, the health tourism is even incorporated in the vision of Sikvenica Riviera touristic development. So the vision is dynamic Riviera of recreation and health, tourist destination of accelerated tourist development focused on providing globally competitive and high quality rest, recreation and health experience, the best Adriatic destination for physical rehabilitation in a naturally healing environment. Of course, uh, in the strategy, we have action plan. We have to be really active, proactive. We have to do a lot of stuff. Uh, we have a lot of uh, stuff in the core elements and in the supporting elements. Uh, we plan to establish, uh, no, not, not we plan, we establish a development team with internal and external experts. We want to uh, develop a destination that is collaborative, that works together. We want to have synergy in the destination in order to, to be better, to, to have a, a higher quality and to... Uh, place ourselves better on the, on the market. Uh, we plan to establish a register of quality of natural medicine fac medicinal factors, also uh, establish a destination of green standards, improve mobility and general med medical care and investing in medical institution, improving quality level of service and certifying a green destination. Of course, uh, we have to uh, take care of our accommodation. We have to uh, uh, improve healthy and uh, green practices. We have to uh, further develop uh, sport and recre recreational offer. Also, the gastronomic offer. We have to use more healthy local food and healthy menus. We have to encourage more the local and regional healthy production and uh, we have to interpret this theme of health tourism, of healing natural factors. We have to, to raise the awareness of the fact that we are really a health tourism destination. Of course, sustainable development, we have to uh, uh, do uh, by sustainability principles. We have to uh, continue with implementing sustainability principles, protect natural resources, incorpor incorporate them in the product, product of the destination. Uh, we have to do treatments and experiences based on local and authentic organic products, local culture. That's, that's a lot of stuff. Health tourism is really, really complex uh, uh, 
complex uh, uh, segment. Uh, the tourism is very complex, and health tourism is even more more that. So it's uh, really you have to you have to have local community, local government. You have to have medicinal institution. You have to uh, uh, the tourist board has to uh, uh, be there. The restaurants, the the production, everything has to. Uh, make uh, a whole in order to be uh, uh, high in quality in order to present this product to the to the market <coughs> and of course <laughs> besides all of that that I say we will of course continue to uh, organize CIHT conference uh, we want uh, to further develop and establish the CIHT conference as a top health tourism of, uh, conference uh, in the region, in the Adriatic, and have even greater international reach. For us, it's uh, really important that this um, exchange of uh, knowledge, exchange of experience, experiences, and during these uh, last 10 years, I personally, but I I think all of you and all uh, all the people that uh, were here during these uh, 10 years learned a lot and uh, all that we learned we are, we uh, we try to do in practice. So I want to thank you all again for coming and that's that's all from me. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Bravo Mariana. Thank you so much. We are all moving to Trkvenica after your speech. <laughs> a very nice place to live in. Thank you. And another organizer of the conference, Vladimir Mozetic. Please join me on stage. He will tell us something more about the Kvarner as a health tourism destination of the first league. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you. Mariana and myself, uh, yes, have been first on the on the dance floor and uh, awesome. we are almost lost on the on the stage here but no never mind uh, so i will uh, explain how we uh, start with the idea of clustering and why uh, what was in short what it was in the past what is now in present and our uh, view to the future of clustering and i will repeat something which uh, what is mariana already said but on a much more wider region so, the idea of clustering is starting in 2012 uh, with the uh, main points in, uh, on the May of 2013. As you may see, the uh, four main points have uh, been uh, discussed and uh, started. One is private-public partnership, cluster foundation, emphasize main activities in health tourism, and senior living active and healthy aging. But from my point of view, the main thing is that the clustering uh, produce better services for the residents, for citizens who are uh, domestic people who are here, implement the project who are also creates new uh, jobs, increase flow of capital and involvement of larger number of business entities. So uh, another very helpful document was strategy of health industry of our country, which was first in Croatia for 2004-2020. And you may see that uh, the main goals are uh, public-private partnership, development of human resources, scientific technology park, and university hospital. And uh, during that time, a touristic board of Kvarner, with touristic boards of each of uh, region of uh, Primary Gorsikota County, established regional brands. One of the brands is uh, health and well-being, and you may see that we have family, gourmet, uh, brand uh, hiking, outdoor activities, and the last one is a brand, it's uh, wine, Quarner wines. You will taste it during the afternoon, some of those uh, wines. And we are very good connected by the highways as well as six airports nearby. From the start, uh, the cluster mission and vision is a synergy of uh, medical health part, uh, tourism part, and uh, science and education entities as well as establish the health industry as the main uh, economic developing uh, field uh, in our region. So why 
Mariana already mentioned uh, why Crkvenica is so nice, but Crkvenica is part of uh, our Primorje Gorski Kotar mountain seaside uh, part. So we are on the great location. We have a long tradition. We want to establish our, our region as European health and well-being destination. So now uh, our cluster is AGO have uh, 37 members with more than 9,500 employees in which are more than 5,000 medical staff from three uh, triple helix model uh, way of working. From health part, uh, 20 private and public medical institutions and one uh, pharmaceutical company, the biggest pharmaceutical company in Croatia, which is a general sponsor of our conference two faculties and from tourist part six main and big and uh, biggest uh, hotel chains in our region three travel agencies and six tourist boards and the numbers of last three and a half years which includes uh, pandemic year in that year we have uh, more than 200 uh, 200 uh, 330,000 uh, health patients in our region more than 80% are dental, but uh, the number is very high, 2,300 uh, 2, uh, health tourism patients in the last three and a half years. And we offer definitely all services in one place, uh, which means that we know what its patient experience and we want that uh, the, the patients or the customers feel that experience from the first contact until the last one and the follow-up afterwards. The health services is just one part of uh, our offer. You may see that we offer other things too. <clears throat> and of course, the legacy of our cluster with, with the other organizers is this conference, as well as the um, awards we had, uh, achieved from the International Medical Travel Journal as a cluster of the year in 2016, and the finalist in 2018 and 20 with Malaysia and so Korea. But if you are looking in the present and the future, we need to look uh, in which way the, the, the whole health will go. So we are looking on social structure data, patient general clinical data directly at the home and the patients, health and wellness data, provider generator data and financial data. So we'll need lots of data to put on one place and uh, organize those data and use it for the better service. Why? Because we have two terms we uh, deal with. One is well-being and another one is healthy aging. If we are talking about healthy living, I hope that in the last two days we have all um, what is signed here. We have positive thinking, we feel good, we regular exercise mainly last night and we eat quite good. So uh, in the last two days we definitely healthy living. And of course we need to know that we have a new paradigm in uh, health and well-being. Now on the first place is preventing illness, promoting well-being for all, personalized medical services, which need to be less invasive and more preventive procedure. We need to be customer or patient-centered. And of course, digital tools are must-have, not good to have it. But in the same time, if we are uh, focused on the, our customers, that's their life, their time, their experience, their choice. So we need to ask them what they want and uh, personalize the, the, the whole program. Of course, if we are talking about the quality of life, if you want to be the region of health and well-being, we need to include all those dimensions of the quality of life in which health is one, just one of them. We need to have all those things which are mentioned here for domestic people as well as, as well as our guests who are here. And of course, from the medical part, we are focused here in our region on four, uh, four topics. One is preventive personalized integrative medicine. The second one is lifestyle medicine. The third one is rehabilitation, both physical and mental. And fourth, it's active and healthy aging. But if we want to be the 
region, not just for uh, health services. We need to preserve uh, natural healing resources. We need to have enough human resources. We uh, need to know what, what is the level of quality of the environment, availability of infrastructure, principles of social sustainability, and something which is really important, development of destination management. So, why Quarner? Why Primo Rigorsky Kotar County? Mariana already explained that we have so-called Quarner effect with deep breath of great air here, eat great food and exercise here. And of course, so that's the reason why if you stay in our region one week, you will live one year longer. That's why our motto, which is good for storytelling. And of course, we like to use all natural healing resources. We have it here from the ground, from the sea. And you have yesterday presentation of Yadrangalinsky Laboratory Factory. They produce the product who now, now covered 10% of world market of uh, nozzle decongester from the uh, seawater product. Another thing which is really important, it's a uh, development strategy of Adriatic region uh, in Croatia. So in that, uh, in that sectors, we have five different fields. One is uh, blue growth, the, sun one, uh, the ne uh, next one is green, smart in industry and uh, high value added services sector. And the fifth one is health. From the health part, we have four priority niches. One is future pharma. The second one is personalized medicine. The third one is that we are dealing on this conference. It's health and wellness tourism. And fourth, it's fo food and well-being. All those four uh, things, we have it here in our region. So that's the way in which we're going with our, with our plans and uh, um, projects. As well as part of health industry, in which health tourism is uh, one of the main roles, we already have it here on our university, our, our factories here. So we have the Department of Bio Biomedicine, Biotechnology, we are already collect the big data using robotics, 3D digitalization, telemedicine, as well as other part you uh, mentioned here, uh, because our smart strategy of our region is a strategy of health and quality of life, which includes pharmaceutical industry, medical devices, uh, new services in preventive medicine and di diagnosis, and nutrition. In the other hand, uh, from the scientific part of view, on our university, we have several projects and centers where we use those uh, things. and. The two last ones are very interesting. This is the Center for Artificial Intelligence and Cybersecurity. And now uh, we start to establish the Institute of Health, Physical Activity and Cardiac Rehabilitation, which include all members of the cluster in the, in the services that will be investigated and put on the market too. And uh, another aim uh, which we rule on is to establish the Health Innovation Hub, which means the center of development uh, and innovation in health industry and health tourism, which include education, research, development of new products, combination of digitalization, telemedicine, um, uh, medical applications, and uh, combine several industries who can produce that, and last but not least, uh, we already produced programs of our uh, medical institutions who are mainly covered with post-COVID programs. And we are working on the certification of the destination as a destination of health and well-being. So this is our 15 uh, different fields in which we will make, and four, we already do that, the protocols which, which will lead us to the certificate and accreditation of the destination of health and well-being. You see that they are not all uh, connected only with the health, but with the quality of uh, life. So uh, this, this kind of certificate do not exist uh, um, on the global level. So that we hope that will be first product we can uh, share uh, with our uh, colleagues and partners uh, abroad. And of course, 
we always uh, come to the end of the presentation. So this is the end of this presentation in which I like to show you the past, present and the future of clusterization and how we like to become the region of health and well-being in how to spread that on the national level. And we start to talk about the Croatia health in the future of the European health and, of course, uh, finally on the global one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Milmozetic, and good luck with your future projects, especially this conference. We'll come here each year after year because we prolong our lives, as you said, <laughs> in being here in Triklenica. So our last speaker for today, before we end this section, is Simon Zagrodnik, Executive Director at the European Historic Thermal Towns Association. Tell us something more about it. Simone, the microphone is yours. Thank you. Yesterday in the welcome words it was said that there are so many experienced speakers but also some new faces. I am one of the new faces and um, it's a real pleasure and honor to be here so thank you for the organizers to inviting me for the first time here and um, I am now taking you first of all on, a, on another journey and I take you into the European dimension. So we are taking first the um, focus out of um, Croatia. So, um, first of all, European Historic Thermal Towns Association. I think as a new one, I should at least introduce a little bit what we are doing and what this is about. And thank you for the nice introduction into the destinations and into um, health and well-being destinations here. Thermal towns, spa towns, just the uh, pictures are speaking for themselves all over Europe. So, who are we? The association was founded in 2009 by six municipalities and um, you can imagine mayors facing each other and realizing that they have thermal waters, that they have architecture buildings that needs protection, um, <laughs> tourism that needs to be developed. Um, that was the idea when the association was created. And um, it was pretty well, uh, quickly certified as a cultural route of the Council of Europe. Um, you can see we are registered in Belgium just uh, for the official um, <laughs> lines. And um, the cultural route of the Council of Europe, you will see in a moment what that is about. Uh, what I can say as of today, we have 49 members in 18 countries. And uh, I just uh, quickly tell you the mission, was I, what I was explaining is enhance, protect and promote thermalism and thermal heritage in Europe. This is what it looks like and why the Council of Europe, and now this makes sense, we are not talking about the European Union, we are talking about the Council of Europe and this is why we have now members from Portugal all the way and now this is Ukraine, new since three weeks, uh, they have been a member, um, this is our map and um, who is belonging to us and also this year for the first time we introduced and we welcomed um, one member from Brazil, a thermal town, because thermal towns are all over the globe. And uh, we are also planning to develop uh, more the international dimension with the partners. We are very proud to have 11 very special spa towns among our members. Um, the 11 were in, uh, subscribed, inscribed into the World Heritage List last July in 2021 as the great spa towns of Europe. A UNESCO site, and the interesting thing is all of those 11 spa towns are one single UNESCO site. As a comment, if one messes up, all of the others have a problem. So um, this is why it's one, one um, site. To understand the thermal phenomenon, the spa towns of Europe, they decided on there was a process to really look for the pearls among the spa towns that reflect the tradition, the spa tradition, the, um, everything that is about um, the waters. And um, also as a side comment, and you all know this, people have traveled to the sources in Europe for hundreds and thousands of years. And um, this is why it's very special to have such a group. So looking at our 
work, what we are doing, and that is also not so easy to explain. Um, we basically have two pillars um, that um, we are working in and what we are representing. And I'm introducing you to this, and I take you on this journey to understand um, my example later, um, what I want to, or what I, what I chose to pick and to present to you today. On the one side, we are this association that I just um, told you about. It's the institutional structure behind uh, the scenes more. This is where we work on a political level. Um, the municipalities, as I mentioned, or regions are members, which means there is a lot of political lobbying for the heritage, for the culture, for health tourism, and for cultural tourism. Brussels, of course, is a big door for us, but also on the national levels, on the local levels regional levels. Um, this is where we as an institution and as an association connect to other European institutions, but also global um, um, associations. For example, as an association, we are a member of UNWTO affiliate members. Um, the communication in that frame is B2G and B2B, clearly, um, to really look for interest. And, Actually, when it comes to policies for health tourism in, um, in Europe and on the European level, this is where we try to get the voice and where we really try to support the local and national politicians. The cultural root of the Council of Europe is where we have most of our activities in. Um, of course, this is all about political attention also there, European Commission, Council of Europe, but this is where we create the activities and where we have to start on the local level um, to actually also work with the people, include them um, into the identity as a spa town. And um, just yesterday when uh, Maria, well, she was talking about art and culture, it just came to my mind in the spa towns, of course, spa, spa towns are a mutual combination of culture, arts, and, and the waters and the health and the well-being because people have just for centuries used this um, for the healing and now for the prevention. Marketing and promotion, and this is where I'm uh, quickly jumping to now, is uh, where we really develop in the wide range, B2C, B2B, B2G. Um, the little thing that we have a scientific committee there, yes, we need of course to research about the data and the history um, of the thermal towns. Two fields, two target audiences, and this is now my package I bring into this conference in addition to health tourism. Um, as I said, it's a mutual combination and we have the luck, uh, the towns are lucky and uh, have the big opportunities to combine cultural tourism and health tourism. And um, of course we all know when it comes to cultural tourism, this is where we have the storytelling, it was just mentioned, um, where you create for tourism promotion, the thematic clusters where the spa towns have the chance to tell the story besides the health and the well-being. Um, and uh, just as an example, we have created, of course, um, the, the fields of um, therapeutic spa landscapes, gastronomy, um, spas in antiquity, for example. Um, for the health tourism, and I just give you this aspect um, quickly, um, the interesting thing, or the interesting part, is coming out of the cultural root idea. This is our potential, and this is our idea to also get people in touch with health tourism. Even they come maybe with another, um, uh, with another idea or with another um, motivation. So the potential to maybe get the cultural, more cultural-oriented tr tourists automatically in touch with the well-being and the health aspect and the offers that are actually in this, in this destination um, is a potential. And of course, all of those destinations have the big challenge to transform from curing the sick and the old to destinations of well-being. And I, know, I think you all need, uh, know the, this challenge. So, the pandemic. Quickly, yeah, the situation was really bad because the thermal establishments were the first ones to close and the last ones to open. And not in every country you had the medical aspect to let them open and to let them run the business. 
labor questions. I, we had it yesterday, we, it was mentioned. The municipalities struggling with the question, do I open, do I close? The assets we have, and I'm not repeating because at the end this is what I just told you, there is a big encouragement uh, or encouraging fact that all these destinations have. We have heard a lot from the, the people, focus on the people, um, people are focused on themselves, they research for well-being. So with this in mind, we realized coming out of the pandemic, we are in this together, all the destinations from Portugal to Georgia. So we have to be creative, not big budget, what do we do? It was simply, it started with the idea, let's put in really when, we, during the lockdown even, let's just put some awareness rising social media posts out. We just have to do something and this is my encouragement for clusters and associations. It's always hard to do something without budget, but we started, we created and from again all over Europe, we just tried to do something and encourage, discover us. We are a combination of cultural and health tourism. We also tried to channel a bit more what I described to add themes to this idea. A spa town, water, health and well-being, okay, and then add, adding this with um, the theme kits and uh, giving ourselves also a more customer-oriented face because that did not exist before um, that clearly. We had more an um, it's an institutional look. And then we were coming more and more closer to the fact, and this is what I mentioned before, we're working on national, regional levels. Um, we have been um, a member of the um, Tourism Manifesto, which is um, also um, yeah, the, uniting the, the, the private and the public sector in, um, in Europe. And what we also realized is that with the product we have, we are really much fitting into the strategy and the um, so-called um, passion points of the European Travel Commission. European Travel Commission, all national tourist offices and boards are member to the European Travel Commission. So as a European network, we wanted to encourage the national tourist offices actually to pay more attention and raise the awareness. So this is when this year, um, we, for the first time, initiated a campaign supported by the European Travel Commission and co-financed 50% by the European Union. Um, it was an idea. We, we wanted to create something, get the word out and share what the towns, the spa culture have to, has to offer. And so we came with a package, uh, we created a package of activities. Um, you see two of the key visuals there and um, the, um, the title was Immerse Yourself in the Spa Culture of Europe. Finally, for the first time, we could produce a video clip. Um, we worked with a tour operator, which was also encouraging for the destinations just to see um, that there is something happening, um, that a tour operator off has the bookings and has the offers and runs a campaign with us. But most impressive, um, and this is why I just quickly, oh, no, yes, most impressive were the press trips. One journalist actually writing for Vogue North America and um, for an association like us, if you have the Vogue with 15 million uh, unique users per month having an article, it's just amazing. And so we started in different countries some activities and finally also the destinations understood, aha, this makes maybe sense too try to just get the word out and have an awareness raising campaign. And then one of the packages was that we had simply social media campaigns in Europe, in the Dach markets, so Germany, Austria and Switzerland and in North America. And that was something we were not so sure about how it's going to work and what we maybe learned from it, but it was for us, the moment this year that we finally learned something about potential customers to the um, thermal towns and the spa towns in Europe. And um, this is, for example, how the, the one in um, Europe looked like. And um, as you can see, and this is why the big arrow, uh, one of our Croatian members, Daruvar, was um, part of it and, and the pictures. So it was just great to know that people just start clicking and clicking through. And um, 
we surprised everybody. Nobody was really sure how the consumers are reacting to this spark culture campaign and um, we exceeded so after one week we got the emails this is working great this is wonderful so people really are whatever if they are looking maybe for more the health aspect or more the cultural aspect um, so it was just a big success and we started to celebrate and also for me as an executive director, a wonderful moment because I finally can share with the mayors and with the municipali municipalities numbers to say, look, this is worth looking together and trying just to promote ourselves together. Same thing for North America. And that was a test because you can imagine we have members, Budapest, Vichy, Baden-Baden. Of course, they are used to the more used to the North American market. But then we have small towns. And if I just look here in Croatia, you don't really operate for the North American market. So big surprise. Also, everything wonderful and happy. Um, and uh, what we had as a learning, and just quickly, that we now know that about 1,000 people came to. Um, to really and booked actually a travel to our uh, destinations. And now I'm running out of time and I have 1.30 to show you a little video. I skip this because, uh, <laughs> can I? Yeah. Okay. And, and then These one more. waters one more flow from deep in the earth, bubbling up with natural heat, laden with essential minerals. They relax every muscle they heal your mind and body, but there's so much more to enjoy. Take in the beauty of spa architecture, stroll through delightful gardens, cycle through ancient woodlands, experience thousands of years of spa tradition, soak up theater, concerts, and cultural festivals, or raise the stakes at the casino. Sleep comfortably in a cozy B&B, a fancy villa, or a grand hotel with thermal water on tap. Thermal travels. Immerse yourself in the spa culture of Europe. So now you know what it's all about, or you've seen it again. And um, I'm ending my journey, of course, coming back to Croatia. And um, just to share again that we have three Croatian members. Actually, from this year on, we added uh, two. Um, it's uh, Lipik, Varashtinske Toplice, and Daruva. And um, I told you about what we have done this year. And um, one country is definitely now deserving an attention in the future because we have done the press trips, we have done fam trips in the other European countries. And I'm very happy to share with you that we have plans for next year. And um, I can as, at least officially uh, tell and announce that we have the OK and the green light from the European Travel Commission to host a FAM trip with up to 10 tour operators next year in Croatia. They will come from the US and Canada. And um, we have to combine it with a second country. But I'm very much looking forward to um, hosting um, the tour operators and bringing them to your country and then talking about the health tourism here in Croatia as well. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Simone. Really nice news from you. Stay here with us at the, on the stage because of the q and I'm asking also Mariana and Vladimir, I'm inviting you to the stage and we are ready for the Q&A session. Guys, are you ready to pose your questions? Do you have anything? Ah, Elizabeth is always in the first row. <laughs> Very active and participative. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Maybe I should just have my own microphone. Yeah, uh, <laughs> forever, uh, like yes. me. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for wonderful presentations again. Um, Simona, a question for you. Do you, we know that in tourism versus health tourism or medical tourism, that the a average, uh, I'm sorry, Miroslav, um, <laughs> that I talk about average, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> uh, the aver average uh, tourist, um, the average medical and health tourist spends more and stays longer than your just regular tourist tourist. Do you, what about the thermal 
tourist traveler. Um, do you know about their their spend spend rates and lengths of stay? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> then okay. that, that, that is the, the, the it's the challenge again with you know the the focus. We cannot really separate, and this is why, as an association for Europe, every country delivers different numbers. So it can be a cultural tourist consuming maybe even a health checkup, yes. and we don't know about it. Yeah. Or it is a health tourist or a classic health tourist, and um, they are also coming for short or a longer stay. So really tricky. No. Okay. Maybe something to work maybe, on. Maybe I can uh, just answer not about the terminal parts, but uh, our Institute of Tourism of Republic of Croatia made in 2019 an investigation about the average uh, cost of uh, daily spending in uh, tourism and health tourism. And if we are talking about the tourism, we are between nine, uh, 90 to 120 euros. If we are talking about the, the uh, health services are between 2050 and 2090 euros or dental 480. So that's the difference two times or three or uh, three and a half times more than average uh, touristic spending for the person per the day. And maybe maybe just as an addition and I think this is really Croatia is probably one of the leading countries where you even can diversify the segments of tourism because we if still I still have the problem uh, with, yeah, but, with it. But, yes, but, but if yeah. I, can, I can tell you from Germany you know if it's a business traveler, if you're lucky, mm -hmm. but nothing else. So the, the countries mm -hmm. do have complete different statistics yeah. and approaches, and that would be something helping all over Europe, for example, if you have a segmentation that is the same everywhere. That's a reason why we need that data, uh, the control of it uh, with, with uh, equipment, which uh, now it's already established. Yes, we talked so. about it a lot. Yes. You get your question? Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Any new questions? Maybe I would like to ask you, what is your, since you are two are organizers and you are here for the first time, Simone. Yes. Yeah. So what are your impressions of the conference? Now we are reaching really the very end of the conference. What is your high impression of the conference for these last two days? What would you say? Maybe you as a newcomer or you two as organizers. Tell us something that you will remember from this jubilee. <laughs> well, as a newcomer, maybe uh, I start. <laughs> You know, listening to the presentations, which I really appreciate, really the high level um, and the quality and uh, the great input, I'm processing, of course, what to share with the members because my job at the end is, you know, to, to share best practices and to get that on the on the mm -hmm. local level and share with them. So um, I'm very excited to, you know, just process afterwards and share and um, definitely recommend more and more as what I did already, but now the members to join and. To yeah, and you will right. say the people in Srikvenica link longer, <laughs> yes. each day a year longer. <laughs> yeah, you know, the challenge with Tamil towns is then they have an answer for you. Like, okay, you live longer, but here you have, I don't know. No, we have everything. You, you are more, be you are more, more beautiful in that time. Or, so yeah. with the Tamil waters, it's more difficult. more beautiful as well. <laughs> Anything else, Mariana? Uh, I think for the last past two days, I learned a lot again. So I think that's, that's the goal of the CIHT conference, to learn the best practices, the best experiences, to learn from the sp smarter people than yourself. So I think we did it again. I think, I hope that all of you uh, exchanged all your uh, knowledge, experience, contacts, so that you had uh, great networking and that you do some of that you learned in your uh, practices. So. I think the 10th, uh, 10th CIHT conference was uh, the best uh, edition. Tip, best mm -hmm. edition. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you, if you agree I'm, with I'm me. I completely agree with uh, yeah. Mariana. I, uh, I'm quite sure that we reach those three goals I mentioned on the beginning of the conference. One is uh, exchange of the knowledges and ideas. The second one is the business part uh, and the networking. Uh, of course, in the business, you never made the business on the first view. You need more views to do that. And the third part is have a good time, and we have it definitely. You're so a dancing all, panel. All those, <laughs> Understood all those correctly. Are rich, so <laughs> you I got think it all. We can be satisfied, uh, and we improved year by year. Okay. We have the survey. You, I'm sure that you uh, get those pieces. Evaluation of forms. Yeah, yeah, evaluation, please fill it up. Evaluation <laughs> form, and please. Uh, fill it. 
feel it, it's really important for us uh, to, to know what, what is good and what uh, we can improve. improve. Any more questions apart from music? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this music comes yeah. from. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. I'll yeah, please. I will first uh, uh, just just an uh, uh, additional to because we uh, we see what the bigger plans are for the cluster, and maybe just a suggestion because in uh, discussion with other people here we are desperately seeking for biology institute maybe to Vladimir just to think about it because I think personally that you have all components here in this region that why that should be in Zagreb. I think maybe suggestion in the future, just to think about it, uh, the Balneology Institute here in this region. Just okay. a suggestion. Thank you for the suggestion. And of course, uh, as I mentioned in my presentation, our idea is not to stay uh, in this region, to spread the, the, on the national level, of course, because we are too small uh, to, to do all uh, on the best level. And of course, during the old presentations, we see that there are lots of uh, differences between the regions, states, religions, which is good. We need to use advantages of each region, not to be negative competitors, but positive competitors, uh, because we will have the services which are much more useful for the uh, final consumer. So I think that's the way on which we need to collaborate. No competition, just cooperation. Vlasta, a question from your side. Here's the microphone. I think it was fantastic. I enjoyed today very, very much. Everything we know about safety, what we must do, what we must prove, improve. The, uh, we know about uh, news, about marketing, branding, uh, trust, everything. And um, my recommendation next time, invite investors because we have programs we have innovations uh, and on the same place knowledge experience uh, marketing branding everything and only a little bit that money will come we had investors and then we, 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 we all will we be uh, more happy that's <laughs> the reason why we have yesterday that the uh, panel uh, in which we have three on-site and one online uh, investors and uh, one of investors, will, posi uh, possible investors will present uh, himself in a few minutes. So we, uh, thank you Vlasta, we think about and that's the reason why we have the panel about that. We yeah. know that we need uh, money for the ideas so that's the way in which we will go further. Prepare your business cards because you never know when is the opportunity yeah. to <laughs> give them away. And other questions, maybe? Yeah. Here. Hi, I just want to congratulate actually the <laughs> excellent organizers team and dancing team as well. <laughs> and we are missing yeah. Alfred here. And of course, there are so many people who helped it happen. Huh? Where is Where Alfred? Is Alfred? Hi, he's here. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's here. here. Yeah. He's hiding. Ah, okay. okay dancing okay. panel okay. is here. You should be also here now for a dancing panel, but okay, okay. I know that you were lazy today. <laughs> so I just wanted to congratulate once more for the 10th actually edition, the Jubilee. Moreover, since I remember when it all, before it all started, the conversations and how you actually started into doing this conference and this is really amazing and really congratulations and especially I think you need awards for the dancing queen and king like you were last night. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I'm impressed. <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, in, the, in, in the name of Mariana and myself, uh, thank you Leila uh, to mention that I want to thank you the whole organizing team because there are uh, lots of people who you see and uh, through uh, their work uh, everything uh, works very well so thank you all and behind uh, and, uh, and, yeah. and behind the scene because without uh, them we, uh, the, the whole conference will not be on that level which is thank you for the all you oh, said about that's that. nice <laughs> I, want okay. to, uh, I want to thank them on my behalf also because uh, they are really great and uh, Without them, I don't know if we would uh, manage to do it so, so good and so successful.
And the nice music, nice from, music. The <laughs> from the heart. <laughs> from the I, heart. I'm guilty about that. That's my phone. Oh, that's your phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> to finish. To finish. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just a brief question. The plans. Do we see each other for the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? We'll be here on the same stage. Of course. What are your plans? Of course. We are, planning, you... we are planning to do that in the next decade also. Okay. And Don't sell the project yeah. Yeah. now yeah. that you're so successful. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us. We are many weeks here, which means that we will live... <laughs> <laughs> 200 years. Okay. One big round of applause for all of our guests. And for all of our speakers, thank you so much. It's time to end this conference. Thank you so much for participating. And I'm definitely positive that we see each other also on this very stage the next year. Thank you, guys. And thank you, uh, everybody who is watching us online. See you then next year here in Srikvenica. And you will live forever. Goodbye, guys. And see you. U hladnim zimskim danima možemo vidjeti topao zrak koji istišemo, ali ne možemo vidjeti suh zrak koji udišemo. A zrak isušen centralnim grijanjem može učiniti disanje škakljivim, hroptavim, škripovim, bockavim. Peckanje i razne infekcije moguće je spriječiti redovitim ispiranjem sluznice nosa. I tako će čišljenje nosa postati dječja igra. Kad je hladno i kad je topo. Aqua Maris. Snaga mora u svakom udahu. Poliklinika Terme u srcu Mediterana, u mjestu Selce, povijesnoj lokaciji, 100 metara od mora. Terme Selce je prva privatna ustanova za rehabilitaciju i zdravstveni turizam u Hrvatskoj, koju su osnovali 1989. primarius Ivan Brozičević i doktorica Vlasta Brozičević. Sa svojim stručnim timom primjenjuju holistički pristup u radu s pacijentima svih životnih dobi. O uspjehu Termi Selce svjedoči preko 30.000 zadovoljnih pacijenata iz 86 zemalja svijeta i 6 kontinenta. Svoje povjerenje poklonili su nam i vrhunski sportaši, više od 120 olimpijskih, svjetskih i europskih šampiona, zaštitni su znak poliklinike Terme Selce. Poliklinika Terme Selce je stekla izniman ugled u zemlji i svijetu, zahvaljujući individualiziranim visokostručnim programima rehabilitacije i fizikalne terapije. Naš tim čini 44 visoko kvalificiranih stručnjaka, od liječnika specijalista, medicinskih sestara, fizioterapeuta, psihologa, kinesiologa, nutricioniste i masera u suradnju sa vodećim hrvatskim i svjetskim ortopedskim i traumatološkim bolnicama. Prateći ritam i potrebe modernog čovjeka, Poliklinika Terme Selce daje novu kvalitetu zdravstvenoj i turističkoj ponudi Crkveničko-Vinodolske rivijere, 
postavši simbol za rehabilitaciju sportaša, aktivnog stanovništva, mladih, starije populacije te osoba iz svih područja javnog života.